Alright, we're back, and I didn't even I didn't even get this one to win 20 battles with that team. Apparently, I, I think I tried to do like 10, assuming that I already had 10, and apparently I did not have 10, so we're gonna have to go back with that one. But I actually counted this one out. Finished that one. And now we're gonna do this one because unfortunately, I uh <laughs> Whew, I did not even get close. Oh my god, how much money do these people want? I did not even get close to this one. How much? Okay, that's... Let me see. 10,000, 35, 50... How much more? I didn't even get close to 25. You know, I, I went to uh, the place where we got Victoria and I fought those little orcs and the Grim Reaper looking dudes. Thinking, I think, you know, those are pro pretty much the hardest random battles that I can get so I can just sit there and press R1 and get through them etc. I was thinking I was gonna make a good amount of gold and then after like the 20 fights that I did no actually it was around 25 fights I end up I only have like 11k or something <laughs> like yeah I am not I am not going to sit here and continue doing it to 25 and then to continue doing it again until 50 I'm set bro I'm, I'm good <laughs> on that one I, I think we're just gonna go ahead and dodge that. So there's probably an event. Yeah, there's more events. But I'm gonna set up this party because this party is booty. I dislike everything about Felena. I'll be perfectly honest there. I'm really not digging her. But there we go. So that's the correct party right there. Right? Oh no, never mind. I gotta get. I have to continue using Felena. Shit. Right? Man, I really need to pay, like, closer attention to this shit, because now I'm honestly not positive. Like, what if I was fighting with the wrong party that entire time? How much would that suck? Vice, Iona, Felina, Victoria. Yeah, okay, so I have the right, I have the right party. I'm good. I'm set. I'm not terribly stupid, just a little stupid. Alright, so public bath, Telmar. Gotta write that down. Wah, 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 wah. Oh man, we got that creepy ass old dude around here. That'll drive all the customers away. Oh god, are we gonna end up? Are we gonna end up having to work the bathhouse? We're gonna end up having to. We're gonna end up having to work the bathhouse, aren't we? That is a very large place. Very yellow and golden. Is there? I'm confused. Why are we why are we going here now? There was no event. Can we use it? Oh. So what can we do here? What the fuck is the point? What? I am so confused. Oh, no. Oh, the game will continue without- okay. I thought it was gonna say. I- I did. I did that. I did that already. I remember doing that, specifically. What? I am so confused right now. I don't- I don't even- can I bail on this? I'm gonna save first before we go and do this so I don't completely ruin everything. But what are the- seriously, what do the hearts mean? I really don't- like, could you tell me some shit? Teach me, you know? Not just toss that thing at me and assume that I know everything about a brand new system. That would be cool. So let me just... Sure. I mean, I'm assuming I'm gonna get, like, affection bonus. What the fuck? This has got to be... Like, what am I even doing here? Am I even doing this right? Like, is that the affection bonus down there? I really, I really don't. 
Like, is that, is that the affection bonus going down here? I'm so- what the fuck is even happening here? This is fucking stupid! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I mean, apparently I did badly there and she didn't like it. So we're gonna reload that save. It feel like I'm honestly... Like, legitimately, what the f- Well, I'm not gonna- I'm actually not gonna reload the save. I'm just gonna keep on doing this and then after I'm completely fucking done... Like, seriously, what? Move the left stick while watching the prompts. Okay, so when they come up, I should do that shit, right? So just I am like I'm just mashing it right now. Like when I see those hearts, is that good? It might help if I could actually like understand what the fuck she's saying. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be paying attention to that shit underneath, right there, right? It's just making zero damn sense. Like, I'm really, I'm just mashing this right now. See, I did bad. How do, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Like, I, I'm gonna grab the manual then. Like, legitimately, what is going down here? Obviously, that was bad. Okay, what did I do bad? This is retarded. This is legitimately stupid. Town facilities on 16. I guess y'all can just stare at this bitch for a while. What? Alright, so this is what it says. In this minigame, you will be using a large stick to adjust the temperature of the bath water. Once you are signaled to begin, logs will be fed into the fire to warm the water. Follow the directions shown on screen, and move the left stick according to the arrows shown on the left of the screen. If you successfully follow the prompts, you will lower the temperature of the bath water and reduce the amount of steam obscuring your view. If you make a mistake, you will be temporarily prohibited from performing any actions. Okay. So, like, I am... That didn't, I mean, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> like, this is retarded. Let's try it with somebody else. Let's try it with her, I guess. I mean, say while watching the prompts on screen, so like... Fuck it, dude. I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go nuts like this. I'm just gonna go absolutely balls to the fucking wall here. miss how the hell did I miss I'm spinning the stick in a fucking circle so yeah apparently I'm just supposed to be doing this like as fast as fucking possible I thought I was supposed to be like actually legitimately following along with the arrows like when they popped up but apparently I'm just supposed to be going fucking nuts this is stupid like this this is retard I I either I am completely fucking retarded here I mean, it's telling you to watch the prompts, right? So you would think 
Like, that would actually fucking mean something, right? But nah. Yeah, I am literally just supposed to be mashing it. See, the first time, I thought I fucked up. Because I thought that bar was going down. And that was, the like, the affection bar or some shit. You know what I mean? So I thought, oh, I'm, you know, I'm fucking this up hardcore. The affection's going down. But no. How do I, seriously, how am I missing? I am legitimately just sitting here. Spinning the stick in a circle. That's all, that's all I'm doing. I'm just spinning the stick in a fucking circle. This is the most retarded minigame. So yeah, you are just supposed to sit here and just mash it like as hard as goddamn possible. See, how am I missing? Really? I'm sitting here spinning this motherfucker in a goddamn circle. That's it. I'm, that's all I'm doing. I'm legitimately not doing anything but spinning it in a circle rapidly. I played a 360 character in Blaze Blue. I know when I'm spinning the goddamn stick. I know when I'm churning goddamn butter. Apparently, I just got a perfect. Fuck this game. This is the dumbest motherfucking shit I have seen in my goddamn life. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is this this is a this is a mini game? This is a mini game you think is fun? Really? Really? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reload a save. Now, obviously, like it says, I have five uses of this bitch. I am going to come back. When I am not recording this, and I am just gonna handle it, that was the dumbest, fucking biggest waste of time I have ever, oh my god. That was ridiculous. Really? That's the mini game you think of? Maybe it's just because, maybe it's retarded on controller and it's fun as hell if you have PlayStation Move. I don't know, but that was fucking dumb. That was just... Oh my god. What? Did I really miss the portal? Oh yeah, I did. The portal's right at the bottom. Alright, so anyway, so right here is where uh, we're going back here, because obviously, like I said, this is where I was doing the fights, and whilst I was doing Z fights, there's this little symbol map thingy. Oops, wrong direction. Right there. Just right there. Right in my face. God fucking damn it. Oh, and they get the surprise attack. So that's another thing that I've always hated about games like this, where it's just completely random. Again, I dislike random. Plain and simple. It's just randomness in any game pisses me off. Shit that is just 100% if she died, really, she died. Are you fucking serious? I am not about to goddamn go pay to revive her. I'm not about to use my one fragment of fucking life to revive her because I... I lost a coin flip. <laughs> wow, I just got so mad right now. I was in a fine mood before that minigame. I mean, I wasn't exactly, like, ecstatic. And, like, sitting here just, like, stoned out of my mind, high as hell and happy out of my goddamn mind or something, but... I wasn't agitated. <laughs> and now I'm just sitting here like, fuck this game. That minigame was stupid. And then I get followed up by losing a coin flip and losing a fucking character over it. Good shit. Quality fucking entertainment. <laughs> oh. That just makes me so angry, dude. Anything to do with just... When you don't... When you lose something, when something happens that's just random and it doesn't go your way, it's just the most agitating thing in the world to me because it's completely out of your control. I hate it when shit is out of my control. doesn't matter what aspect of life it is, if it's something that's out of my control but affecting me directly, it sucks. And then when you do stuff like that, when you put in a system in a game like that, that allows for potential surprise attacks, but that also, you know, sometimes allows for me to get a surprise attack. I will take never getting a surprise attack, never having that possibility, in order to ensure that I don't get surprise attack. Like, the positive does not outweigh the negative in this instance, when it's completely random. When it's just a roll of some dice. That just sucks, altogether. I will always hate randomness in games like this because it's always just so st I mean it's the same thing as like I mentioned before when you do when you, when you get something forged by the blacksmith and there's always just that admittedly not very high chance but the chance 
for that item to be turned into something into something else. That is not a good thing. That's not a good system. And I'm not sitting here with this game like, oh, it's so tense right now. I don't even know if I'm gonna get the item I want or not. This makes it so exciting. No, I'm sitting there like, motherfucker, you better give me the goddamn item I want because that is the fucking item I want. And if you don't give it to me, I am just going to reload to the save that you forced me to do beforehand so that I do not get fucked over by your stupid system. And it's the same thing here. I mean, if there's like, if there is a decision to be made and it doesn't go my way, fine. That's part of the gameplay. It was my decision. I had control over it. And I get the same shit. Are you kidding me right now? Is this just something that's going to fucking happen? <laughs> quality. Fucking quality right now. This just went from a game that, like, honestly, I'm still I'm iffy on the battle system already, but this just killed it for me. Like, this is just stupid. Victoria should live through this, thankfully, because Victoria is not a little bitch, but... See, they get two straight attacks. Two straight full attacks. And you're expecting me to enjoy this? Like, this completely out of my control stupidity. There's nothing good about what just happened there. And the la there's been nothing good about the last, like, ten minutes of this fucking video. Are you fucking... And I... My leader doesn't even get a fucking turn, so I don't even get to actually go. Great. Dude, this is stupid. There is... I cannot make heads or tails. See? Look at this. I cannot make fucking heads or tails of how this system works. It makes no goddamn sense, and now Victoria's- if Victoria's dead, I am just gonna stop this video, and I'm done playing for the day. Cause the, oh my fucking god, dude. I have not been this agitated playing a game in so long. I never once got this angry playing Marvel, and I hate online Marvel. And you're sitting here like... Is, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna stop. It is 100% baffling that you can insert a game system like that and not think, you know, this may actually be kind of stupid and people probably won't enjoy it. They're sitting there actually thinking, yeah, this is a quality system that adds to the gameplay of this game that we're making. No, it doesn't. I mean, you shouldn't just throw something into a game because you feel it should be there because you know, surprise attack. Why are they getting so many fucking attacks in a row? This makes no sense. I was literally destroying these things with no issue whatsoever. You know, 30 minutes ago when I was grinding. And now all of a sudden they're blowing me up effortlessly? This is just... <laughs> so fucking agitating. like know what to say to all this it's just I'm mad let's just go with that I'm mad this has just been a complete waste of like 15 minutes of my time that mini game was terrible this system is terrible I never really finished my thought did I you should not put something in a game just because you feel like this is a staple of RPGs. It's necessary for RPGs to have this system. That It should not be like that. The most you should sit there when you're designing a game and you should think, what does this add to the gameplay? What does this add to my game? Does this make my game better? Does this make my game more enjoyable? That is what you should be sitting there thinking when you're trying to design a game, but instead, people just continue putting in, like, terrible systems. 
You know, like they're sitting here like, oh, we need mini games, stuff for the player to do on the side. And so they think you just toss something in there. And oh, it's a mini game, so obviously they'll be entertained. They want more stuff to do, here's more stuff to do. No, it's gotta be stuff to do that's quality. We can't tell you, you know, you this is what this is exactly what we want. We can tell you. You know, oh, it'd be, not, it'd be nice to have more side, like, mini games and shit. But then after that, it's your responsibility to ensure that that system that we're asking for, that we want in your game to make it better, is up to a standard where it does not detract from the overall gaming experience. But instead, you gotta give me a shitty thing like that where I'm literally sitting there just mashing on the fucking stick. And there's no other point to it. I'm just supposed to mash a direction as hard as possible until it changes. And then I mash another direction as hard as possible. And they're going to sit there telling me that that's a worthwhile addition to your game? Fuck no. That's a waste of time. You're going to sit there and tell me that sitting there watching this random event that I have no control over is a worthwhile addition to your game that is going to add to my entertainment? Hell no. People hate randomness. They hate it. It sucks for everybody involved when you get blown up because of randomness. So don't add more of that shit in there and think that like, oh, it's an RPG. RPGs always have these. It's fine in a system like Tales of Vesperia. If you run up behind an enemy and attack them from behind. Okay, that makes sense. You can actually, there is a tangible enemy to see their position in relation to your position. It all makes sense. You have control over it. But when it is literally just a random fucking coin flip, fuck that. I am, okay, now I'm just, I'm done with the ranting. Just chill out. God, that makes me so mad. It's just so stupid. Like, I honestly think that's really the only thing about games that I like really complain about. other than just like if it's just shit like if they just didn't make it well and it's broken like camera sucks or whatever you know that kind of stuff where it's technical issues I don't really ever like bitch about games outside of just pure randomness that's the only thing that gets me is just randomness mm. Let's go kill them all. <laughs> Release some of this goddamn anger. それが本当ならまるで盗賊が魔物に対する。君さんたちにとっちゃグルートの民の里へ向かうにはい、グロザーレンプ。南側にある転送法人へ向かう際。こちらは特に今日。Alright. As long as I'm going here, probably gonna have a bunch of battles to do and whatnot, so. I say all right. Okay, so you can use the square button thing. Oops. My bad, Zs. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna just be chilling here, rolling through all of these. What is? Oh. Why can I? Oh, I have to hit the button again. Okay. That's why I tried to. I tried to cancel. That's why I accidentally went into the menu. Cause Breath of Fire 4 is a douchebag. That's the other thing. That is that is one other little thing that I can mention. It's a very, it is a very minor thing because it's just something you have to adjust to after playing, like while playing that game or the after playing that game and going to a different game. That thing is fucked up. 
I don't know what is going on with the design of that monster, but whoever did it, you are fucked up. But just games that like have different control layouts for like no real apparent reason, they just do it and like you can't change it. That's just annoying. Like Breath of Fire 4, like I said, they use the triangle button as a cancel instead of the uh, circle button like most games on the PlayStation. So I keep hitting the triangle button to thinking I'm about to cancel, but really I'm just making myself look like a complete fucking asshole. That's my only other beef with this game. Is the fact that this slowdown. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can notice it, but this slowdown makes it very, very difficult to actively see. I keep fucking that one up. To keep to actively um get the weight bonus. Cause I've kind of, I mean, as you see, as you've seen from the fights that I've been in, I've kind of been getting that timing down a little bit better. But I fucked it up multiple times there. It just seems like for the first, like, 15 or 20 minutes of playing this game, it's just very slow. Like, whenever I start to record this game, I'll just, like, load the game file and just let it sit there for about, like, you know, 10 minutes just so this goes away. Because I don't, I don't know why. Like I said, I don't know why it's doing this. But it is. I also do not know why I'm recording this. But I am. Oh, did I even hit? I might not even hit that bitch. Shit. Oh, maybe I did since she's healing herself. Okay, well, anyway, like I said, I don't know why I'm recording this. Uh, I'm gonna go do the battles and stuff. And once an event occurs, we'll get there. Sorry for the rage that that made. If, that, if you don't like listening to somebody, you know, we out. That just, that just, that, that just frustrated me. And it sucked. 